everybody and welcome back down to Lancashire here at the Koi Pond. Today it's very cold, we've had snow, it's about one degrees but um, we've had a disaster down at the Koi Pond. So in this video we are going to be fixing the liner to this new pond already. I was using something, I was screwing something in and uh, I had adjustable spanner on the side and I must have knocked it with my elbow and it's gone into the pond and it's gone like that into the liner and it's punctured it so we're gonna have to drain this pond and then fix the puncture so that's what we're getting up to in today's video well, as we're speaking now we are draining this pond so we can get inside and fix the um, puncture so please stay with us and uh, follow us whilst we attempt to uh, fix the puncture in this uh, new pond. So let's crack on with the video, let's jump inside this pond and let's fix the puncture. Well we're inside the pond now so we're going to uh, fix this liner. So yeah, yesterday or the day before I was doing something and I dropped my adjustable spanner into the water and obviously it's gone dish like that into the liner and it's made then two slits so today at the koi pond and on the video we're going to attempt to repair it and see if it holds the water if not we'll have to get a new liner but first we'll try and fix it we'll try and save anything at the koi pond so i'll put you on a stand and you can just watch me repair it well this is the first time i've um, repaired um, a pond liner so leave any comments in the section below on the best way to do it but they're the holes we're repairing today. So I'll put you back on the, the stand. And we'll try and lower the stand if we can. Try and get a bit closer. But obviously I don't want to be ripping any more liners or hold and line now hopefully you can put it there so this is the repair patch I've got hanging around so I'm going to be using this So we'll just dry it. Get the sticky stuff. So we'll just cut the tape and the patch to suit. This is that what we're doing, just a minute
So we'll just leave that a second. Apparently this stuff works instantly so you can fill the pond back up. Clean enough straight away. But I will um, be adding a bit more security to it, like um, a layer of um, sealant over the top, just to give it that steadiness. So, if you like this quick update on fixing your pond, then give us a thumbs up. Please smash that subscribe button and press that bell for future videos. This is just a quick update, well it's not even an update, it's just a quick video of me repairing this pond. Obviously if I didn't drop the adjustable spanner I guess we wouldn't be in this mess. I don't think this is going to do any much cop. Well, you see what you think. Leave your comments in this section down below. We may have to um, smear it with... Um, sealant just to help it stick so we've got some aquatic safe sealant to uh, make sure it's aquatic safe for fish tanks etc don't use your standard bathroom stuff so we're just gonna apply some a lot to the outer edge what you think get just smear it Allow this to dry for overnight at least before adding your water.
So hopefully this sealant will help. Keep the patch on. If you need to put more on in the morning or in a few hours when it's touch dry then the more the better I would suggest. So we'll leave that for an hour or so. And then we'll put another layer on. And hopefully that should hold. So I'll try and zoom you in. You can see what I've actually done Whoop. without the camera going. I bet the camera fell before, didn't it, when I was adding the um, sealant but there's the sealants on now and we'll just leave that now for an hour or two and then we'll put some more on and then leave it overnight and hopefully we'll be ready for fill up tomorrow right we'll finish the video here so please smash the subscribe button, uh, hit that bell for future notifications, give us a thumbs up for the video, or a thumbs down, either way. Until the next video, happy ponding. Now we'll go back to the um, polytunnel, get out of the pond, we'll dry our feet and we'll finish the video off properly. I'd say a big thank you to everybody who's uh, watched that quick update on repairing the liner. So hopefully we've repaired that liner and tomorrow we can fill it back up with water, connect the pump to the filter and turn it all on. Leave, then leave it for three to four weeks to try and get the, the uh, filter to mature. We'll just be putting loads of uh, pure plus some pond bombs in just to kick start this pond because with the temperatures as they are it's going to take a while before we start adding the um, the frying slowly so I hope you enjoyed that don't forget to check out our website you can find the link in the description of this video down below on the website you can buy pond products at affordable prices Koi will be added at Easter time or after Easter. They will be at affordable prices as well. Top quality English Koi and Japanese Koi will also be listed on the website. So until the next video, take care of each other and happy ponding.